the first time I ever used a pressure cooker when I was probably like two or three years old, and we had one at home, and uh, my dad would cook artichokes in them, and I was always really amazed, this thing that went on a stove, and you turned on the flame, and it started hissing and spouting, and the little knob started twisting around, and it was kind of like something out of Willy Wonka, you know, everything's like going crazy. And I'm sitting there as a little kid going like, wow, what's going on there? And you take the lid off and there were these like perfectly cooked, really delicious artichokes. It just, you know, it was the 70s, dip them in mayonnaise and life is good. I love my pressure cooker. We actually have two pressure cookers. We love them so much. I'm a big fan of slow cooking, braising, flavors melding, but because it's pressurized, the, these flavors all um, are infused into the carrots and the onions and the chicken things that I, I do like to use it for um, are like cooking fish or you can cook things in poppy out. This is really actually very beautiful. It really seals in the flavor. Usually you do that in the oven and you think, oh, that's going to be wonderful, but you put it in a, a pressure cooker and it totally transcends the whole flavor. It's really amazing. You know, the cooking time's like 10 minutes. First thing I cooked was actually the beans. Yeah. But then from there, you know, I get creative and it's fun to use at home mostly because you can really just do it all in one pot and it cooks so fast and, you know, minimal cleaning. It's great for beans. You know, beans cook in 13 minutes. Dried beans, if you soak them overnight, they cook in 13 minutes. Brown rice cooked in 12 minutes usually takes at least twice that long, if not three times that long. Root vegetables cook in three or four minutes. Time is part of the, the, the benefit of using a pressure cooker, but it's also just the way it cooks and then the flavor component too. Difference also than a slow cooker, which I think is very one-dimensional. And I like slow cookers for what they do, but they really only do that. They sort of slow cook. And this, I can cook some of the things that are made to cook very quickly and some of the things that are made to cook over a long amount of time. So I've got a lot of versatility. We're going to throw some bacon in there, because why not? Right now, at both restaurants, we're using the, the beans and also chickpeas. So both of those we do in the pressure cooker. Cooking professionally in a restaurant, I never wanted to have beans on the menu because it's really hard to cook just right. If you're cooking it too fast or too slow even, or if it's not soaked properly, then they'll burst or don't cook enough inside. And then someone will say, oh, but it's al dente. Beans aren't supposed to be al dente. You know, beans are supposed to be cooked through. What I found is that, you know, the flavor of boiling an artichoke in water is like all that flavor goes out, even salted or not. All that nice flavor of our artichoke, you know, goes into the water, but with a pressure cooker, it all stays condensed inside the vegetable, which, um, you know, is this exactly what you really want, you know, when you're cooking food. You want to really, really taste all those flavors. You know, it brings the temperature up, and you've got the seal on there, so none of the aroma, which is flavor, you know, are escaping. And that's what it's all about. It's about infusing flavor into something, in this case, the chickpeas. Lots of people were afraid of them, have been afraid of them. Grew up and it was scary. I know my mother's made all kinds of noise. And, and other people say this, afraid that they're gonna blow up. But they're phenomenal and of course they've now, you know, with technology made it so that it's very easy. It's not gonna like blow up or something like that. It's not the way these things are made. And because they're very regulated with temperature, it's not like the old school ones. This thing's pretty well fixed, pretty sturdy. It does what it needs to do. People have, you know, heard of these calamities in like the 70s of, you know, them exploding all over the place and like, you know, the cat falling in the soup kind of thing. <laughs> and, <laughs> um, but they're not really like that and they're, you know, if you just are patient with them and you really learn how, how to put them together, they're, you know, like I said, they're, they're a really amazing tool. Once, once you know how to do it, it, it's really easy and very convenient and very safe. And Craig Yamin, I think we've got six. We're using these things for, for so many different things, partly because our cooking um, space is limited. So we were always looking for different ways to cook things at this restaurant because we just went out of space really quickly. And this you know, takes up a very small footprint and gets a great big job done. And I even have one at home. So it's not just for something at the restaurant. I mean, I, everything that you see that I'm doing here is something that I would serve at home to my wife and my son, and it works out really, really well. So I started doing it at home, and I realized how easy and how fun it can be. To, to make all different types of things. For people who are concerned about not having enough time to um, make a home cooked meal, I would encourage people to use them and get comfortable. Things come out and they're tastier, they're more succulent, they're more evenly cooked. So, uh, you know, we're not trying to um, uh, turn the world around using the pressure cooker, but all of a sudden you throw something in there and you taste it and you're like, wow, that was pretty good. Mm -hmm.